Hello, and thanks for stopping by the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. My name is Sandy, and in today's video, I thought we'd do a little bit of a chit chat, a little sit down, which is something that I don't do very often on my channel, but I thought it was fitting as we um, embark upon the last days of 2023. So I thought I would do a little bit of reflecting on the year. I will also be giving you some life updates, some channel updates, some things that I have planned um, for 2024 that I want to share with you, uh, Lord willing. Um, so if you'd like to hear what I have to share today, just keep watching. Now, I absolutely have to start off by thanking everyone who has been a loyal supporter to my channel. I have been on YouTube now for uh, quite a few years, and um, I, I'm not going to lie and say it's been easy. It's been a struggle, but I thank you for those of you that have supported my channel because you are truly the ones that have kept me going. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for your support, for your kindness, for your encouragement. It has just, just meant the world to me. So thank you. All right. <laughs> so at this point in my life, I have, I'm very reflective in my life and I try to be very, very intentional in everything that I do. Um, I want to experience the best of life. I appreciate everything. I want to really be in the moment of new experiences and things like that. And um, one of the things that I want to do for 2024 is I want to be more intentional around my home. So you're probably saying, what does that mean? Well, I just want to be very intentional in that the things that I'm bringing into my home um, and the things that I'm doing around my home are things that will really create more of a legacy or memories for my family. Um, you know, and I want to be able to walk through my home and kind of talk about the memories. You know, I watch a lot of uh, Homeworthy on YouTube and it's so interesting to hear the people walk through their home and they have such stories about, you know, things that they have curated for their home. And I say, you know, I don't really do that. And that's one of the regrets I have too about when I did used to travel for work. I had opportunity to bring things from my travels and everything. My headspace wasn't there and that was okay because I wanted to be in the moment. Um, so that was good and experiencing different things. So I did that. But now I want to take that step back and say, you know, what do you really want in your home? I want my home to be warm. I want it to be full of memories. I want it to be full of stories. I want to be able to look at things and, and it re brings back memories of th special things to me. And so in order to do that, I need to put the thought into what I'm bringing into the home and not let the stores tell me what to bring into my home. <laughs> you know, there's this um, meme that goes around that I don't know what I need from Target. I go to Target and let Target tell me what to get. I don't want to be like that. I want to already know the full look, the full vision of my home and what I want that to look like. And then I want to go out and seek those things and really put that thought and effort into it. So that's one of the changes that you'll see on my channel going forward is there will be a lot more thoughtfulness, um, a lot more creating memories um, of the things that I bring into my home. And you'll start to see things flow <laughs> from one space to the other. I want that to be um, a part of it. So... Yeah, you'll see a lot less shopping hauls for 2024. <laughs> Pray for me on that. But yeah, there'll be a, there'll be less shopping hauls. There will be shopping hauls, but you will see that I will start to have a lot more um, or share more of my vision in terms of where I'm going with my home. And I won't be changing things as often either. I will be purchasing more forever things in my home that can transition from one season to the next because I'll continue to decorate for the seasons, but there will be items that will be staples in the home, if, that, if you will. Another thing that I want to do in my home is some upgrades. So um, when I got my home back in uh, 2018, I believe, I'm not sure when, but not too, too long ago, 
and it was a new build. And if you've ever built a home before and were not blessed enough to have it custom built, um, you know that the builders, they cut corners. Wherever they can, they will cut a corner. And so there are things in my home that I just want to kind of take my home to another level. Um, I don't know if this is my forever home, but I want it to feel like a forever space, at least for now while I'm here. So there are some things, and I'll share more about that in the upcoming year, um, that are things that I will be changing up in my home, upgrading. I kind of started a little bit of that this year with some of my lighting that I've upgraded, but there's a lot more that um, I want to focus more on than necessarily bringing in a whole bunch of decor pieces. So the decor pieces I bring in will be well thought out, well curated, and there'll be a plan and a vision for them. But I'm also going to spend a lot of my time and energy in upgrading some of those builder grade um, items that are in my home. Now, I don't currently live in the state that I was born in. I moved to the Carolinas about 15 years ago and my parents moved down some years later. Now they had lived in their home for uh, over 50 years, same home, okay? So there were a lot, a lot, a lot of memories there. And so when the decision was made for my parents to move down here, my sister and I put the wheels in motion and went up there and packed up, you know, the essential things to get them down here. They purchased another home very, very close by uh, both my sister and I. And um, yeah, so we left a lot of their stuff there. You know, the move happened really, really fast, very, 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 um, you know, quickly. But what we did, we did a re some research and we found that you know, to ship all of their furniture to do like a long distance move or whatever. It was actually cheaper to purchase all new furniture on this end rather than to bring all of that stuff. But what we did not take the time to look at is the value of the things we were leaving. So big regret there because my mother had some really good furniture because back in the day when you purchased a sofa or you purchased a table or whatever, that stuff was real wood or real marble or real whatever it was. It was heavy duty. It wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> you know, it was going to be sturdy. It's going to be good. So you can't even get that type of quality now. So big regret there. You know, we got here, purchased all new furniture and all of that kind of stuff. And it just ain't the same. And so lesson for me, you know, now going forward is that I need to be more intentional about purchasing the quality items um, that are going to be around, that are going to last longer because a lot of this stuff that we get today, it just doesn't last like that. And so when I say be intentional, that's another area in that I'm going to be focus focusing on is, um, you know, just kind of trying to get better quality things when I purchase things. And I notice even some things that I have purchased uh, within the last seven years, six years that I've been in this particular home, some of the things that I have purchased there, I am already <laughs> seeing things not looking the same. You know, things are kind of, you know, they just don't hold up like they used to. So definitely going to be more intentional and in buying more quality things, which means less quantity of things because you can't afford to buy a whole lot of good stuff. But I'm going to focus on that as well. The good news about the, my mom's furniture and everything that we left behind <laughs> is that the home, we sold it to a family friend. We sold it with all the furniture in it. She was so happy to get it. And so I guess we can go back and visit, visit the furniture or whatever, um, assuming that she hasn't gotten rid of it. But she got some good stuff. You know, it was a very nice house structurally and all of that. But anyway, that's what happened. And so now I'm going to be more intentional about my home going forward. I do really, really regret that I don't have um, many pieces like from my mom's home. Um, just, you know, just for to pass down through generations, that type of thing. We just don't really have that in our family. Um, it's nothing we can do to go backwards. So, you know, just going forward, I would just like to be, you know, to do better in that in that respect. 
The last thing that I wanted to share in this video is that I will be doing some new channel branding. Now, I don't know what that looks like yet, and that's where I really kind of need your help. <laughs> Um, my channel is called Sister Cousins Lifestyle, and for those of you that are new or that may not know the history of my channel, it was called Sister Cousin Lifestyle because I started this channel with my cousins and my sister. Um, some years ago, we decided that we would start this channel because during that, at that time, there was what we felt was a... Um, absence of the mature woman on YouTube. And we had, you know, lifestyle things that we thought we'd be able to share and maybe be relatable to women in our age group. And so that's how the channel started. And so we called it Sister Cousins. My, my cousins and I, we call ourselves sisters. So we just came up with Sister Cousins Lifestyle. And that just kind of stuck over this, all this time. A couple years ago, I wanted to rebrand the channel and I wanted to change the name. One of my sister cousins, who was never on the channel, but she is one of our sister cousins, I talked to her about it and she didn't want to see a name change. So even though um, she was never on the channel, she was our biggest supporter. And she was um, ill. She had multiple sclerosis and we lost her this year um, in October. Um, so rest in peace, Denise. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, she didn't want to change the name at that time or whatever. And I respected that and I kept the name, um, now, and I still want to keep a portion of the name in her memory, but I do want to ma make my name a little bit more intuitive from a branding perspective. Um, so that it, you know, I can continue to grow my channel. So I'm looking to you for any suggestions that you might have, because I don't know where I'm going to go with that. I don't know at what point in this year that I'm going to do that, but that's one of the things that's on my list that I want to do is, um, to create a different name, um, protecting or, or keeping Denise's memory in mind. Um, with the Sister Cousins Lifestyle um, name, but just kind of come up with something a little bit different. So if you have suggestions, drop down in the comments below and let me know what you think. I would love to hear what your recommendations are uh, for the channel. With that being said, I would like to thank you once again for your support. I thank you for watching this video. If you're still here, thank you so much for sitting here and listening to me ramble. I appreciate that as well. And I would like to take this time to wish you a happy and prosperous 2024. Be safe, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.